I have a couple of perpendicular lines. As you know, perpendicular lines meet at 90 degrees. And I have these perpendicular lines, L1 and L2, and we're going to calculate the slope of these perpendicular lines. Now, for L1, we can see that it's sloping down, so it has a negative slope. And as I move from one point to the other, I have to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. So I have to go down 7, so it has a rise of negative 7 and a run of 3. So M1 equals negative 7 over 3. For L2, as I go from the first point to the second point, I have to run, <coughs> sorry, I have to rise 1, 2, 3, and I have to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the slope of line 2, we'll call it M2, is rise 3, run 7. Now if you take a look at these things, one of them is negative and one is positive, and other than that, they are just the reciprocal of each other. So we say that or perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocal. In other words, if line 1 is perpendicular, that's what this symbol means, perpendicular to L2, then M1 will equal the negative reciprocal of M2. Just flipped over and made negative. Now let's do an example of finding an equation of a line where we have it perpendicular to another line. So let's say we're going to find the equation of a line that goes through the point negative 4, 7, and it is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 5y plus 11 equals 0. We need to find slope. Since we know it is perpendicular to this line, we know that it will have the slope that is the negative reciprocal of this one. So I have to figure out what the slope is of this line. So I'm going to go ahead and say finding slope. Uh, we need to rearrange this, so I'm going to subtract 5y on both sides and I'll have 3x plus 11 and on this side I'll now have minus 5y since I subtracted 5y from both sides. Now I'll divide both sides by negative 5 and I get negative 3 fifths x minus 11 fifths and that's going to equal y. Now this is in slope y-intercept form so I know that this number here in front of x is the slope and I want the slope that is perpendicular to that. And we know that the perpendicular slope will have to be this flipped over. And since this one is negative, the slope perpendicular to it will be positive, the negative reciprocal. Now I have my slope and I have my point. Once I have slope and point, I have all the information I need for y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. I'm going to go ahead and sub that in. Uh, my y1 is 7, so I go y minus 7 equals, my slope is 5 thirds, and I'm going to have x plus 4. I know that I'm going to want this in standard form, so let's get rid of the fractions right now and multiply both sides by 3. These 3's are going to cancel, and when I multiply by 3, I'm going to distribute this 3 through the brackets. I get 3y minus 21 equals 5x plus 20. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and get one side equal to zero. Let's get this side equal to zero. If I get this side equal to zero, I'm going to subtract 3y on both sides. So 5x subtract 3y. And I'm going to add 21 to both sides. So 20 plus 21 gives me plus 41. Now this side is zero since I subtracted the 3y on both sides and I added the 21 on both sides. And this is the equation I want that will be perpendicular to this line and passing through this point.